The reason why I say no carbonated drinks, and I've been doing that since 1964, is because carbonated drinks actually will neutralize your stomach acid, and you cannot efficiently absorb minerals, digest protein, or absorb vitamin B12 without stomach acid. You have to have stomach acid, like battery acid. Doctors have the criminal belief that you don't need stomach acid. They give you all these drugs to get rid of your stomach acid, antacids, and they give you drugs to stop producing stomach acid, right? They don't want you to have stomach acid. Absolutely criminal. You can't digest food and absorb food without stomach acid. I know most of you knew that carbonated drinks neutralize stomach acid. If you remember back 25, 50, 75 years ago, when somebody would ask their doctor to say, look, I just ate, a, I overate, I overate a Thanksgiving dinner, and I have heartburn and indigestion, what do I do? And that was before they had Zantac. They say, well, take some 7-Up, drink some ginger ale, drink some club soda, take, take some uh, sparkling water, because the carbonation will neutralize your stomach acid and give you some relief, and it would. Now, if you do that three times a year, drink a carbonated drink three times a year for Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter because you overeat during those holidays, that's okay. You're going to survive. But when you're drinking two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten carbonated drinks a day, you're not going to survive because over the long haul you will not be able to absorb the nutrients. You're going to get some horrible combination of terrible diseases. This came out in June of 2000, and this is a Harvard study on 460 junior high school girls in 9th and 10th grade, and what they found out was that those junior high school girls who drank one non-cola carbonated drink every day, they increased their risk of fractures and osteoporosis as a teenager by 300%. They found out that if they drank one carbonated cola drink, a cola carbonated drink every day, they increase the risk of fractures and osteoporosis as a teenager by 500%. Now, do you think that this is more dangerous for teenagers or adults? It's much more dangerous for adults because you only have 25% bone matrix, and you're very, very slow to recover, where teenagers have 40% bone matrix, and they can recover in a week's time.